we have studied about thermal velocity now there is another type of velocity which develops in the charged particles when we apply an electric fold across a conductor this is representing a conductor here we apply electric field uh, by some method by connecting it to battery or by any other method so plus to minus there is an electric field the electric field is in this direction this is electric field okay now electric field applies a force because of electric field there is a force experienced by the charge particle here the charge particles are electron and now you see one electron is here according to thermal velocity it is going suppose at any time in this direction this is the vector representing thermal velocity one electron which was here is coming here because of thermal velocity this is going here because of thermal velocity this is going here so all these arrow represent thermal velocity electron was going from here to here before applying electric field okay now we applied electric field when we apply electric field an electron which is going here it experience a force in which direction because electron is negative direction the force is minus qe and minus shows that force will be in opposite direction of e so if e is in this direction the force will be in this direction now this electron which is going from this place to this place experience a force in this direction so because of this force it is pulled like this 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 and in place of landing here earlier now it lands up here so from its path it has drifted this action going from this to this is known as drift how much is the drift so we will say how much it has deviated it should have gone to this place it has actually gone to this place so this is drift drift so here it was supposed to go here but because of the force it has gone here so this is the drift here it was supposed it was supposed to go here but actually it has gone here because of force so this is the drift here this is the drift here this is the drift accordingly in the millions of electrons there is a drift now you have understood what is meaning of a drift and when it takes effect when we apply electric field not before that now i want to stress you one thing from here to here one second has gone this electron was going up it has drifted left is going down this is also drifted left this is going here it has drifted left the one which was going in this direction this we find that it has drifted here so this is the drift so if it is going up if it is going down if it is going left if it is going right for all these electrons in thermal velocity for all the electrons in thermal velocity the drift is same this is a thing which you are supposed to notice that whatever is the direction of thermal velocity the direction of drift velocity is same this is drift motion now this drift motion is very very small motion okay it is very small motion but it is on every electron so this drift create whatever is the speed of this drift that is known as drift velocity so average of drift average of drift speed is called 
drift velocity now this drift velocity is in one direction in this direction suppose we add up all the drift velocities drift velocity v1 for this v2 for this v2 for v4 so v1 plus v2 plus v3 up to n particles divide by n average this average is not zero why it is not zero because all are in the same direction there is no cancellation so this has velocity drift this is our formula average drift velocity average is silent and we call it drift velocity so this is drift velocity what happens now because all are moving in one direction and our definition of electric current is the motion of charge makes electric current this motion there are two motion one is this motion thermal motion one is this motion this is drift motion due to electric field thermal motion cancel out each other therefore net thermal velocity was zero does not make any current drift velocity adds up into the millions and they do not cancel each other and it has a finite value so this makes current so now you understand that drift velocity is responsible drift is responsible to form electric current okay so this is what is meant by electric current and drift is responsible for electric current now next is if this drift velocity is responsible for electric current then how much is this velocity can we measure it because physics is a science of measurement everything we talk about we have a measurement of that can we measure this drift velocity or can we calculate that drift velocity depends on what what should be its unit what are the other characteristics which affect it how does this affect the current so we can calculate drift velocity and that mathematical calculation of drift velocity we will do in the next lecture thank you